a much larger distance to the word icebreaker, signifying that it is not similar. So here's how this works. We live in a world that is three-dimensional, but embedding vectors exist in a high-dimensional space with hundreds or thousands of dimensions. Vectors are a mathematical data representation of any object in a multi-dimensional vector space. They utilize values along a large number of dimensions to describe the attributes or features of the object. These vector embeddings are generated by an embedding function that is specifically trained for certain object types. In essence, the so-called embedding functions convert complex and often unstructured data into a vector representation and preserve semantic similarity. This enables you to process, compare, and use it in various machine learning and data analysis tasks using large language models. So the great news for developers is that SQL knowledge is all you need. Let's see the vector engine in action here in the HANA Database Explorer. This table in the HANA Database Explorer is leveraging the new data type, real vector. We have been populating the table with the text of the SAP HANA Cloud Roth Engine documentation. And to be honest, nobody really likes to read extensive product documentations. So what if you could just ask the large language model to summarize the documentation and extract specific information that is relevant to your question? So we have used a text embedding function to generate these embedding vectors. The embedding function maps semantically similar text to vectors close to each other in a high dimensional space. Running a semantic search then simply becomes the nearest neighbor search in that vector space with 1,536 dimensions. So where it differentiates is you're not searching content, you're searching for condensed semantic meaning. Now we are running a nearest neighbor search in the HANA using SQL. We're using the built-in distance metric, cosine similarity. That compares the vector in the table to the real query vector. The query vector was obtained by the embedding function that is based on the string, how do I run the shortest path algorithm? Now the result brings back text from our product documentation that is semantically similar to our query about shortest paths. Since this nearest neighbor search is a SQL operation, we can add additional SQL operations. For example, we can set a filter. Now we're able to see the outcome on the bottom left. And of course, you can also do joins. For example, to the author's master data table, where the location of our authors is being stored. So let's assume you would like to invite your experts that are located nearby to an in-person customer meeting. We can then use a spatial predicate of the HANA spatial engine with a distance to identify authors that are located in a 200 kilometer radius around Pune. Now taking a look at our location, we can see on the map where these two dots are displayed, our author's location is being stored. So you must stay tuned now to hear more about this powerful vector engine in combination with large language models later in this keynote. Thank you, Jürgen. Thank you, Sabrina. Thank you very much, Sabrina. I don't know if I'm gonna have a headache tonight, like thinking about a space that is more than 1,500